Okay, so my name is Kathleen Siminu. Uh, my background is in math and computer science, and from there I ported into data science. So I'm a data scientist at a company called Africa Stalking. That's kind of the job that pays the bills, but I wear a couple of other hats. I, um, I do a lot of work with building machine learning communities. So I run the Nairobi Women in Machine Learning and Data Science community here in Nairobi, and then I also work with the Deep Learning in Daba, which is a wider organization that um, works with communities across the continent. Ah, okay, AI and development. Um, I think, particularly in Africa, we have a, a lot of problems. So there's a lot of development to be done, and there are um, sort of this, the routes that have been set, like industrialization is how um, countries come up, but then AI brings a whole other aspect, which is how we've ended up in this age of artificial intelligence. So I think it just, it gives us the opportunity to transform a lot of things and not necessarily follow the path that is set out by um, how other industries and how, not industries, but how other societies and countries have come up. So I'm really excited about AI and development, I think that the fact that there is a need for development then makes AI even that more exciting for us to be applying. Well, my pet project at the moment is NLP, so I'm just going to go with that. And the reason I think um, NLP for African languages is very important because then it, it gives you the ability to reach the individual, yeah? I mean, I could be here with all my English, but then I'm not the average African. The average African is in a village somewhere and they speak their mother tongue and they communicate and they can function in their life with that. But this average African is not able to participate in the digital economy. And it's not because they're stupid. They may be illiterate, but they can speak, they can understand, they can think. If we could just talk to them, then I think the, the opportunities are limitless. And it's, it's not that the technology does not exist, because it does. We have Siri, and you give it a command, you ask it a question, it answers you. The technology exists. We just need it to be applied in this context. And once we have that, then we can go into healthcare, we can go into education, we can go into agriculture. Like So much opportunity. But yeah, I think language is like the first thing which we need to crack. So I'd say, Let's unlock language and then unlock Africa.